Uh, imagine this. You return home from a week's vacation, only to see a total stranger had taken over your home and stole most of your stuff. Can't imagine. <laughs> and that's what happened to a family in Utah this week. It's our top story tonight on 2 News at 6. I'm Heidi Hatch. I'm Mark Cabell. That family spoke exclusively with KUTV 2 News. And Paul Nelson is live from Salt Lake City with more details on what happened here. Paul? Well, the court records actually show that the suspect would place items by the doors of this apartment complex. And if nobody removed those items, then the suspect knew nobody was home. But like when most of us go away, this family came back and they came home to a heck of a surprise. I was crying because I, obviously I was so scared. I was like, this is my apartment, so what is going on? Genesis Gonzalez and her one-year-old son had been visiting family for a week in Spanish Fork. But when she came back Thursday night, she saw something weird. I saw the hole, so I was immediately in shock, like, what is going on? The doorknob had been cut out, and she heard the TV was on. She says she opened the door, and there was a strange woman on her couch. That woman reportedly got up and started screaming at Gonzalez to leave, claiming the apartment was hers now. And I have a diaper in my hands, and she took the diaper and throw the, away the diaper and told me like, go away, this is my place, take your child with you. She got herself out of there, called police and texted her husband, Jaime. He was coming home from Mexico. And she just texted me saying, someone broke into our home. A random lady is in our house. I just called the police. And I was shocked. I, I thought she was joking. But when he got home, he says he saw his apartment had been ransacked. As soon as I walked in, I saw that everything was missing from its place. All the kitchen cabinets had been torn out. Uh, and all the food was gone. When I walked into my closet, it was completely bare. I didn't see any clothes at all. Gonzalez say the squatter even took baby clothes, their drinking glasses, and worst of all, Genesis's wedding ring, which she wasn't wearing because she's seven months pregnant. And I checked everything and I didn't find it. So I feel so bad because that's important for me. Now, the Salt Lake City Police Department declined to do an on-camera interview about this case. However, the PC statement says that the suspect, Leslie Jean Harding, actually waited for police while they arrived. And then when they did, turns out she reportedly admitted she'd been staying here for about a week. Reporting live, Paul Nelson, KUTV, 2 News. What a mess. Paul, thank you for that update and Man. a crazy story. Can't That's... imagine. Did you get this push alert on your phone today? Moments before the story aired, we sent this out to get push alerts like this. And straight to your phone, all you have to do is download the 2 News mobile app.